Senior Principal Magistrate Lucy Nyambura's court was all set to charge Environment Minister Chirao Ali Makwere for hate speech. The case, which was to take off last week Thursday, failed to do so after prosecution confirmed that the minister was yet to be served with the summons. But even though by Monday morning Mwakwere had already been properly summoned, he was yet again a no-show. His legal counsel, Waweru Gatonye, explaining to the court that the minister had suffered hypertension after receiving news that he was to appear in court over hate speech. Gatonye also said that Mwakwere's cardiologist had recommended that the minister jets down to South Africa for surgery. After state counsel Lilian Obuo analyzed the hospital records, the court ordered that Macquarie appears on the 27th of August when a plea will be taken. Meanwhile, in Parliament, Limuru MP Peter Mwathi, who is also accused of hate speech, defended himself over the allegations. Mwathi told journalists that he was not in the country when the National Cohesion and Integration Commission summoned him over the claims. I have no uh, hate for any individual of any color, race, or creed. I will definitely cooperate with any investigations which are required. I remain truthful to myself, and I know I have been obedient and focused in dealing with the issues affecting Kenyans at large. However, confusion rages on between the Director of Public Prosecution, Keriako Tobiko, and NCIC Chairperson, Mzalendo Kibunjia, over the DPP's approval to prosecute Nairobi Metropolitan Minister Jamlek Kamau alongside Mwathi. It's now imagined that the DPP received two conflicting reports from NCIC, one citing that the commission absolved Kamau and instead called for the prosecution of Mwathi and Makadara MP Gideon Bovi alias Sonko. Reports indicate that NCIC's legal team sent a report advocating for Mwathi and Jamlek Kamau's prosecution. The two were yet to be issued with summons to appear in court over the charges. For KTN Prime, I'm Asham Wilu.